And I feel like I got you guys, like, if you guys were watching musical, <laughs> listening to musical, it's not. Yeah, it is a review, uh, by the way, this was Native Thoughts, this is gonna be a review for a movie, a, sh a small movie, that, that surprisingly wasn't a big, little, internationally known movie, but it, it, it was a smaller movie called The Last Five Years, and it's a musical starring Anna, Andrew, Anna Kendrick, uh, from Pitch Perfect and Up in the Air, and Jeremy Jordan, which I have no idea where he came out in before, bad research, but The Last Five Years, uh, spends, uh, Approximately almost like the last five years of the, of a, of a two couples, the good times and the bad times and the in between times and cheesy, memorable, cute moments, whatever. The only thing is that it's, it's a musical, you know. The movie is a musical, and it's weird because I feel like musicals are dying nowadays. Because I mean, when you have, I mean, the last musical I could remember is just being at the movie theater was Into the Woods not so long ago, and this one, I mean. It's has some bad reputation, not the musical, because it's based off a musical, but the movie has some bad reputation in which, uh, it feels kind of like, like, just, um, like, like, it just came out of nowhere, and whoever watched it, watched it, and who did, who did it, and whoever's gonna watch it, and they might catch it in movie theater, in, uh, in VOD, or on the, on the bend, uh, the DVD bins, or Blu-ray bin, whatever, and the movie's just, just like I said, it's, a, it's about, uh, two couples spending the last five years, here's the thing, I had no idea when I watched it, it was based off a musical, and throughout the whole thing, I kept, how do you say, I kept giving it a lot of props to it, because I kept thinking it was an original musical, and all the music was original, all the music was just, uh, hands, like, they started with the music, and then they just worked into the film, and it's not, that's not even true, it's a base off a musical, but that's why I'm saying, like, it felt original, directing it, I mean, the, the, the directing, the director felt like it was original, like, you know, I, I mean, I had no idea about this, and, um, it's just, like, it feels weird, because, like, it felt original, but, Here's the thing, like, I feel like if you're a, a fan in the musical scene, and if you have a beloved for musicals, you're going to appreciate this one because, like I said, it feels like an original musical. If you had no idea about the musical, it feels original. And if you know about the musical, you would like it because I hope it stays true to itself. It seems like, I mean, every since scene one, it's, it starts off with a musical number. And it feels original, and this is like, I liked it to a point, but there are some parts where I did think it was kind of boring. There were some parts where I felt like it dragged. It felt like it was just, uh, I say it just felt like it was just out of nowhere, you know. It just it felt like I want. I wish there was less music and more uh, written scenes. And there is some a lot. There is a lot of written scenes, but not so much. It's mostly everything. You end one musical numbers, then you have a like quick less than five minutes. Uh, uh, you know, scripted, written scene, and then right away you have a dialogue. I'm saying, and then right away you have into a into a musical number again, and it's it's not bad. The musical, I mean, the songs I'm not seeing any. The songs I'm I don't have I don't remember any good songs a lot. But I feel like something would I would feel like it's gonna be like a little cult classic, you know? Like it's gonna be a little like oh, if you never seen the movies, just like I feel with um, Repo the Genetic Opera. That little it's a little uh, opera, but it's a little horror opera. This came out nowhere, which is based also from a smaller opera play. It's just like a local like open act play, but it felt a lot like it was original. And the same with this one. This one felt original, and I like some of the cinematography in this. It felt really neat. Uh, neat. Director's name, uh, I believe, is Paul. Like, Something it's Paul. Something. Uh, the last name is weird to pronounce it, but uh, he he directed P.S. I Love You, Freedom Riser, Freedom Riders, and he wrote. Uh, he was one of the screenwriters for Unbroken, uh, under uh, being uh, behind the Candelabra, the um, the one with Michael Douglas, directed by Steven Spurb, uh, Soderbergh, and also um, this is one of the movie where it just um, it's just, it feels original. It has a little version. It has a little uh, style to it, and it's like I say, like uh, one thing I would have to complain is also like besides the musical dragging so much, uh, Jeremy and Jordan, I just felt like he was like I mean he, the guy's talented, but I just, like I've never seen him before. But he's he stands on his own. Anna Kendrick does well. I mean you've seen her with her musical and Pitch Perfect was a great movie, and this one, uh, she does okay as well. Um, 
And like I say, if you're a fan of the musicals, you will really enjoy this. Like, hands down, it would be something you would love to see uh, if you're in that realm. Because like I'm saying, like, musicals are not as current as they used to be. I mean, you have Into the Woods last year around Christmas time, then around the summer you had Jersey Boys, which I enjoy to a point, but, I mean, I do understand why a lot of people did not like it. And what else? Um, that's all I really have to say about this movie. It's a nice, you know, small, short film, you know? I like it. I would say I recommend it if you're a fan of musicals. But if you're not a dying hard fan of musical, you probably have a problem with this because it does feel weird. But if you if you like, if you want to give it, I would say give it a, sh- a, a, a shot at it because there are some things that you're going to like and it's going to be out of nowhere where it's just a musical. But I think it does drag on with the whole five years concept and I don't know, it, it came out of nowhere. And it's just, I, I thought it was kind of okay. It's just an okay movie, you know? It, but I, I could see it having a bigger following within the years and people, you know, uh, saying that it didn't get the respect that it did. And then I understand that. It's, it, it seems like it. it seems like it's leading that direction with the fan, fan, fan service that I might have. But that's all I have to say, everybody, for this review called The Last Five Years, starring Anna Kendrick, Jeremy Jordan. Um, another thing, um, if you are listening to this review on SoundCloud, you could watch this on YouTube, the same audio, but you could watch it in the video version of it. Sorry if I just moving something real quick. Uh, and if you are watching this on YouTube, like I just did where I just moved something, um, you could listen to this exact same audio without, if you are on the run, doesn't matter what you're doing. If you want to have, if you don't have time to look at the tube, you could listen to it on the run, whatever, on SoundCloud, Native Thoughts, just type in Native Thoughts, and it's come out. Listen to my famous review, Ludacris is not famous, it just has a lot of, re- listen to it. Watch my reviews, like the one that had the most re- Reviews on there, it's the Kendrick Lamar album, and we have more albums coming out. Also, uh, reviews I'm trying to do, and also everybody that's uh, I have today say for this video, and hope you guys have a good night. Just name the thoughts. Bye.